Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today let's talk about the British accent. So this is without a doubt the number one question I get asked online. Now people ask me how can I improve my British accent? It's always difficult to answer this question because of course I remember learning my accent. However, I do have some advice for you that we can look at today to help you improve your British accent. So first of all, if you're wondering why you need to speak with a British accent, well, you don't. There are some reasons why you might want to do that. One reason could be if you have a job with British people and maybe you don't want to think yourself as a foreigner. Another reason is to be understood clearly. If you work on your accent, whether it's American or British or something else, it will help people understand you much better. But please keep in mind that everyone has a different accent. No one has a perfect accent. In my opinion, all accents are beautiful. They are a symbol, a sign, the way you're from. And you should be part of that. Say, so never be discouraged by the way you talk. But if you do want to improve your British accent, then let's start with the sounds. So first of all, let's look at the R sound. A huge difference between American English and British English is the R sound. Americans tend to pronounce the R quite strongly, whereas the British, they all they don't pronounce it. The British don't pronounce it. When the R is used with the words, utter vowel, it stretches the vowel. Take a look at this example, cat and cart. So you notice the first vowel, a, uh, is very short. Then we add an R, it becomes a, uh, cart. All right. Here's some more examples of British words with R. Car, farm, and here. So if you could repeat after me, practice those sounds. The other sound I want to look at is the T sounds. In there's another difference between the American and British English. People from USA will often pronounce a T almost like a D, rather than, than saying butter. You would say butter, a little bit like this. Uh, but in British, the T is much more stronger. Let's look at some examples again. Butter, Peter, Better, Water. And again, a lot of these words have R in as well. So you can hear the T sound and the U uh sound at the end. So keep practicing those sounds. Once you feel like you're more comfortable with them, let's try some techniques to improve your accent. So one technique is simply to listen to people speak. Listen to TVs, movies, radios, podcasts, talk to British people. Listen very carefully to the way how they speak. Also, the technique used as a shadowing when you repeat the words after someone say them. So if you try in this video, you can do have shadowing as well. After saying the words, pause the video. See if you can repeat the same sentence and try to mimic, to copy the pronunciation. If you really want to see how you're doing, you can record your voice and listen it again. Okay, so this could be a very short tips that you can use to improve your accent. It's a very good idea as you can use and I think uh, it will be very helpful for you to improve your accent. Thank you.